Nowadays, I start every morning the same way. I wake up, I read the paper with my husband Brad, and I catch up with 800,000 of my closest friends. Social media services like Twitter, Vine, and Instagram are changing how we express ourselves. But is this an enlightened new form of communication or just a bunch of vapid posturing? Spoiler alert, I know the answer. Welcome to Takei's Take. Twitter burst on the scene in 2006 as a microblogging service that allowed users to communicate with their followers in bursts of 140 characters or less. What can you say in 140 characters? It turns out a lot. Beyonce and Daisy are at the inauguration. You almost had it, Billy. If you are all my followers, does that make me your leader? On Twitter, you can follow anyone of your choice. Just consider the scientific musings of Neil deGrasse Tyson, or the comic gems of Joan Rivers, or the infinite wisdom of the Dalai Lama, or Leonard Nimoy, depending, of course, on your religious beliefs. Fascinating. Twitter can even save lives. Newark Mayor Cory Booker became a social media superstar during the snowpocalypse of 2010 when he live tweeted with the people of Newark about power outages and road blockages in their neighborhood. Let's talk Instagram, a photo and now video application founded in 2010 that allows you to take a picture, apply a filter that makes it look like it's from the 60s, and share it with friends. Groovy. Same goes for Vine, one of the fastest growing sites on social media. Vine lets you post six second videos that just repeat Wahoo! and repeat Wahoo! and repeat. Wahoo! You can literally get lost on Vine for days. It's like a social media time warp. I'm trying to get the hang of it, but uh, I haven't totally figured it out. I know that virtue to be a new Brutus, as well as I do know your outward favor. Well, I know that... So what is it about Twitter, Instagram, and Vine that has so many people signing up and posting random stuff about themselves? To help me sort it all out is Twitter celebrity Dom Mazzetti. George. Dom, welcome. Thanks for having me, George. Pleasure. Good to have you with us. Tell me, what was your first impression of Twitter? You know, at first you see it as like an abbreviated Facebook. You're like, what's the big deal? There's no pictures. If I wanted to read all those things, I'd read books, which I don't. So <laughs> then I realized it's just short blurbs. People talking about what they're doing. I keep up with my friends, what's going on in the news. Everything I need to know is right in front of me. You have a ton of uh, followers there. How did you manage that? Uh, I wasn't really going for too many followers. I started making some videos, people liked it. People just kept signing up and I didn't really think I had interesting things to say. Finally made it on the Buzzfeed. Isn't that what Beezy? Yo, which planet is Bruno Mars? From your perspective, how do you think uh, Twitter relates to uh, an older generation? I, I think it's a little intimidating at first. And I don't think it needs to be. I think there are a lot of uh, seniors actively engaged in uh, Twitter and other social media as well. What do you think of Vine and Instagram? Um, Instagram is great. The only thing better than my reflection is a picture of my reflection. You know, <laughs> and the only thing better than that is throwing a filter on it and seeing an exact number of how many people like me. So you want my take on all of this? Here it is. Twitter, slam dunk. Fantastic site with some of the most original, interesting people in the world. Join today and follow me. With the other social media sites, choose the one that works for you. Send me a tweet, tell me what you think, and hashtag it to K's Take. Thanks for watching, and remember to subscribe to this channel, like this show, and let me know what you think in the comments below. Until next time. Dating expert David So. I'm really tall. You're very clever. I speak English. What do you think of the sharing economy? I love the sharing economy. I'm so excited to be here today. <laughs>